Future generations must not forget the sacrifices made by Singapore's pioneers. And peace for a country comes only when one is able to defend the nation. These were the words shared by the family of Singapore's war hero, Limbo Singh, at a ceremony at Kranji War Cemetery this morning. Today marks 70 years since his death at the hands of the Japanese military police during the Japanese occupation in Malaya and Singapore. Somber and stripped of fanfare. The ceremony to commemorate 70 years since Limbo Singh's death was attended by his children and their families. Mr. Limbo Singh was one of many operatives in Force 136, tasked to infiltrate and conduct sabotage missions in Japanese-occupied Malaya. The agents were trained in India and sent to their missions, which were often dangerous, but conducted by ordinary civilians who went to their missions, often compelled by a greater cause. His son, Dr. Lim Wai Giyok, says he was only four years old when his father left Singapore to join Force 136. He said his memories of his father have been built up through stories shared by his eldest sister and from a diary Mr. Lim had left behind for his wife after his death. Dr. Lim read an excerpt during the ceremony. You must not grieve for me. On the other hand, you should take pride in my sacrifice and devote yourself to the upbringing of the children. Tell them what happened to me and direct them along my footsteps. In his letter to my mother, he had written that when you start something, no matter what, you have to see it to its end. And then he did say that when he bid goodbye to all of us, he never thought that it was for eternal. As Singapore turns the page to its next 50 years, his family hopes the legacy and sacrifices made by Mr Lim and other pioneers are not forgotten. For Singapore going forward, we always need to remember that we stand on foundations that our pioneers have set and that every generation has got to build for the next generation. Limbo Singh died in a Perak prison in 1944. His remains were later buried at McRitchie Reservoir in 1946.